everybody, Little Joe from Back Bass Scale Customs and the band Knuckle Deep uh, with another update video. Uh, hadn't got one up in a couple of days. Uh, seen Dave Parker got his GTO from Fast Jimmy and uh, it's a real cool story on that car because the engine started out in Mississippi in Biloxi and then it went to Florida, I mean Florida, then it went to Chicago and then Jimmy put it in that car and brought it to California. So. It was kind of a trip because I remember building that engine a few years ago and just thinking it was going to be my engine forever on the shelf, whatever. And I ended up sending it to Jimmy, and Jimmy in turn completely disassembled it, cleaned it, rebuilt it, and uh, put it in his car and sent it to Dave Parker. So it was just a really cool kind of surreal thing to see that engine at Jimmy's in Chicago and then seeing it in California. That's just really cool. But uh, anyway... Uh, the, the Wendell Scott car is done, or as done as I'm going to get it, because the uh, the kit is kind of wonky. Uh, some of the stuff wouldn't go in. Could not get the headers in to save my life, so I said, figure it out later. And uh, <laughs> Anyway, also, uh, the person that I'm going to be doing a collaboration build with, if y'all haven't guessed it yet already, it's Fast Jimmy. And I gotta send him the kit because he's gonna start the build. So uh, we reviewed this kit in the last video. I'm gonna send him the whole kit, and he's gonna do what he's gonna do with it. And then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do with it whenever he gets done. So y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, the Wendell Scott car is done again, like I said, and the J2000 is done. I'm gonna shoot uh, a couple of. Uh, shots of these here in just a minute and put them up in a slideshow. Uh, the Wendell Scott car is a Polar Lights kit. Um, it kind of, it started out as a Richard Petty kit. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. I just switched the numbers around. But uh, Wendell Scott ran a blue car and uh, he ran 34. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like gluing my stuff down. As you can see, I couldn't get the headers in. I tried as hard as I could. This kit comes with uh, grip on the tires for some reason even though it is a, a NASCAR kit it should have slicks and there's the engine I didn't do anything too special with this because this car is going to go in a diorama with other uh, NASCARs from a different era and they're going to be mounted on a tri-oval basically the back stretch of the racetrack and there's going to be you know laid up on their side five six generations of kits or generations of NASCARs put in a glass case sealed with lights in it. It's going to hang on a wall in a bar room in my father's bar. But uh, J2000 uh, it still needs a bunch of touch-up and stuff, but it's together. Uh, this kit's a little wonky because it's old, and uh, I'm not extremely satisfied with my work on it, but uh, it was very fun, and it was kind of a childhood fantasy to build that kit. And these are the next two right here, these two guys. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be Big Al or the Tommy Grove, but one of the two. So that's pretty much it. We're going to throw the, sh the slideshow up. Uh, keep your eye on Fast Jimmy's channel, The Chicken Grease Garage, because he's going to receive this Dodge Dart very soon. And uh, I told him as far as what we're going to do with it, I don't have any set plans. So I'm going to give him the kit, and he's going to do what he wants, whether he goes completely crazy or mundane. It's up to him. And I'm going to do the same. So don't know how it's going to turn out, but we're going to have a Fast Jimmy Little Joe collaboration build. Uh, he, he's going to start on his channel. When he gets his part done, he's going to send it to me. And I'm going to continue the build, finish it up here in Mississippi. So, all right. I'm Little Joe from Back Bay Scale Customs and the band Knuckle Deep. We'll see you later.